Um, okay, so warning prior to me starting. May cause seizures or motion sickness. So just um, small heads up. This game contains sexual content, crude language, audio recordings of orgasms, sexy tentacles, pixelated violence, blasphemy, and giant robot strippers. What more could you ask for in a game? So today I'm playing Electronic Superjoy Groove City because I can actually beat this one, whereas the original Electronic Superjoy hands me my ass a lot. You will quickly come to learn this game has some great fucking music. So let's just have a quick, let's have a quick look. This is the tutorial. Woo! This is a platformer, which you may have already guessed. It's the quest for the laser nipples. Let's go. Uh, I'll just start off. A bit twice. So, um, I'll, I have a bit, okay, bit of a lag there. I'll have a basic understanding of what I'm doing. Okay, I need to lie down. Let's have a, let's, giant penises. We, oh, all right then. So dizzy. So the game isn't particularly long, which is a good, which is one reason I've actually started playing it. Because it's one I can actually beat. Butts are a sensitive subject. Oh yeah, just a small heads up, you've lost your butt. I'm not too sure why. The wizard was such a penis face. So you go through here, teleport. The funny thing is, the game is really short. Like, it's... What, what maybe... Oh, it's like maybe an hour, quite possibly. And, um... They just... They introduce a number of things that they don't really come back to. Like, the teleporter, I don't recall seeing very often. All fixed up. Doesn't smell like peanut oil. Yay, kiss bite. We've rebuilt the city, all new and shiny. Everything's perfect. I have no idea how loud the music is, so I may have to check that in a minute. Oh no, it's a giant robot stripper. Apparently this is what robot strippers look like in the um, in Electronic Super Joy. Oh no, so, well shit. The city's destroyed by a mysterious robot. So as you play, you'll sort of get a bit more of the story. As you may have guessed, we're on a quest for laser nipples. So um, take that with you as you will. Whoops. I d the music in Electronic Super Joy is really good, and I'm glad I actually get to play through it again because the music is bloody good. The game there is a slight there is a score attack type DDO to go along with it, but it's not really. You don't have to. You never force to collect the stars. If you touch them, you die. They shoot rockets at you, which always follow you. Which isn't very nice. Nah, it's fine. You s stop swarming rockets, so it's all good. There are like warp ones which you can. There are some warp shit. There are some warp warp stars, which will actually teleport you to another room level, which I will show right now, actually, because there's one over here, which I seem to fuck up way too often. There you go. There you go. It's a warp. Yeah. The game has sometimes it makes it a little difficult to see, which ah oh, bollocks. Well, all you get is you get a load of points for doing it. That's, that's basically it. So it's not really mandatory to actually do it. These guys, if you touch the platform they're on, or like sort of close to it, they will switch places and try and follow you. And this wanker shoots rockets at you, which gets you deaded. Gets you deadened. Come on! I was hoping I get that. Uh, small little secret. No, okay, that wasn't a secret. There is a secret in a moment. The problem around here is you can't stop because the screen will continue rolling. There's a secret here. There you go. Oh, look, stop. Take it. Look, loads of money. Keep moving. Fuck. In the hole. There you go. Alright, job done. You can do it. I missed the jump. Thanks. Thanks, ladies. You can do it. Thank you. These are strippers. Awesome groovy. Just a small heads up. These are strippers, so, you know. Don't get any ideas. They only want your money. Music's so bloody good in this game. So, the game starts off fairly simple. It's nothing too complicated. <laughs> oh, this. What's Zynga's favourite TV show? Game of Clones. I I find that more funny than I should, but it's just... I think everyone knows at this point in Zynga. They just make clones of other games. Oh, I fucking hate Black Stars. They spawn rockets. They give you points, but they spawn rockets. They make my life very difficult. So, later in the game, there will be a point where Black Rockets murder me over and over again. So... This is a platformer, so there are points where you're expected to die over and over and over again until you finally either get lucky enough to survive, or you figure out the pattern cold-heartedly. That may 
pretty sure that's not the saying, but fuck it. Yeah, uh, that, that, up we go. These platforms destroy themselves, you know, be careful. Really should check. Yeah, like, this game, it's fun. And it clearly takes a lot from Electronic Superjoy. But there's, like, these platforms. This is the only time. This is, like, one of two times you'll see them in the entire game. And the second time is, like, completely skippable. You don't have to. It's just extra points. So, really, there's a lot of things in this game that are kind of unnecessary huh, sometimes. Uh, we need to summon the Pope. Can you charge up the Pope signal? Fuck it. Right, up we go. Let's grab that. Mine the stars. I could grab them, actually. Yeah, fuck it. There's a checkpoint system here. And then if you die and you've already got stars, it's fine. You still get to keep the points. Down we go. Go get that one. Yeah, you can redo the checkpoint so you don't have to keep worrying about dying. So it's all good. These guys are simple enough to dodge. It's got the other checkpoint just in case I accidentally die, so I don't have to worry about respawning again. These jumps are a bit of a pain in the arse. Respawn, it's just quicker. Up we go. I fucking fell again. Are you kidding me? I've played through this game twice now. Just because I've played through it twice does not mean I'm going to do it very well. There are certain aspects in this game where the game just... The game just completely wrecks me. That's because... Who's... Because I'm not the best at Oh, it's you! A giant robot stripper! In caps. She destroyed the whole city! I didn't notice. I was um, polishing my, you know, rod and scepter, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you find out why she destroyed that city. I love doing that. Laugh. To the strip club! See, this is my kind of game. This is my kind of jam. I... You'll see a harder version of that jump in a minute, and it is fucking it. The first time around, it got me thing... It got me through... <laughs> it got me so many times. Things are getting harder. Danger zone. I felt the need to sing that. I really need to check the sound, but here you go. I fucking hate this jump. I shouldn't, because I actually know how easy it is now. But the first time, I've done that way too many times. You're just going to keep fighting. Fuck. You're going to keep... Mind the... Okay, don't jump. Just get... You planned that, you scum. Okay, let's go. Oh, jeez. They're coming. What? Okay, mind the rocket. Mind the rockets. Just get to the checkpoint. It's fine. You don't you don't exactly have to touch the checkpoint, you can kinda of scum it a little. Moving on. Okay, this bit's pretty easy. The key is low jumps. Yeah, I know. I don't know why the timing is like. Whoop! Oh, I made it! Good. That jump gets me every so often. <laughs> I am breathing. Thank you very much. And up and over and up and over and up. I fell. God damn it. I could probably beat this game in one part, but it would. Ah, it oh, fuck. I missed the checkpoint. You scummed me. That's never tricked me before, and today, the one day where I have to play this game on camera, it gets me. Shit. Okay, this, I believe, kind of screws me a little, every so often. Right, just because I've got the timing wrong, that's why. You have to go straight away, and then you can get the time down. Run straight away. Doop, 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 doop. Shit. This game is actually quite good for... I've, I've been, oh, I've got it, it got me thinking, because considering I've beaten this game more than once, which doesn't happen often with me, but the game is really short, so I thought I'd do it. Um, it got me thinking. There's... Thank... Thank... Uh, I'm going to come back when the sirens are going to stop. Hey, I'm back! Let's restart that. Um, if I'm honest, I use that more so as an excuse to check the sound volumes. And they weren't too bad, I suppose. You could, I could be heard, which, which is good enough for me, I suppose. Come on, let's try not to fuck this up. 
This one's a bit dodgy sometimes. Oh, I don't like this bit. Alright, I'm fine. I got past that bit. This one's a bit... Actually, this one's still pretty easy. It's the jump that kind of gets me. Yep. Great. I have to do it again. The music wasn't too loud, so that's fine by me. Oh, wait. You're actually bouncing now. Okay, I think that was a bug. That's either a bug or the game... Maybe the game has, like, a very small RNG involved in it. Oh, God. Okay, I was doing fine. I was fine. All right. What was I saying for? Yes. This game... I was thinking, oh, I've beaten this three times. So my brain instantly went, Christ, I've played this game more than many others, and I've beaten it. And I've beaten it relatively decently, and I know what I'm doing. Oh my god, I could speedrun it. Not at all. Speedrunning is not for me, but it makes me think this game wouldn't be too bad a speedrun. Because it's short, which means I don't have to devote my life. Or said speedrunner doesn't have to devote their life to it. Like, some games take about five hours of speed run. I don't fucking know how people do that. It'd be so long, and it would hurt so much. This game, short, you could beat it. <sighs> Depending on how good you got, you could beat this easily in minutes. Easily. 80% is run, no, not, not a bloody problem. And there's not too much RNG, which makes me... Which is what got me into thinking, Oh, this game wouldn't actually be terrible as a... That's a speedrunning game because there's no, there's not too much RNG. Because these things are in a pattern. So you just sort of learn the pattern and you don't die. Okay. And then there's that trick where you just sort of kill yourself to stop these wankers spawning. This isn't the bit I think it is. Okay, now I'm at like the bit I hate the most in this game. Like, pretty much this and the final boss. Oh, and the, the level before the train. Awful. Just, just awful. It just, I seem to, I seem to be doing okay. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that first go. Just gonna grab that. I'm not wasting time. I, on, oh, I remember this. The first time I did this, I struggled so much, and now it's just really easy. <laughs> yeah, the first time I, I, I can't believe I did that on first go. So that was lucky me, I suppose. Right, so, um, we should be at the strip club. We are, okay. Ooh. Hey, sexy. That's, I think... I'm gonna hang here. I'll catch up later. Ooh yeah, hello. I love this job. Wanna rub oil on me? Um I just realized something. There's no um I don't I don't have PG mode on, do I? No. I don't have volume on and up. That's odd. You just got I swear you just got louder. Just turn you down a little bit. There's no um when you die, you'll get, like, the oohs and ahs. But I haven't heard it once today. I don't... How odd? Unless, for some odd reason, my record key, which is F9, maybe that, for some strange reason, turns it off, which wouldn't make any sense. And I, and I clearly don't have PG Motone on. She's a big sweetie, normally. They're talking about the stripper robot, by the way. Just more heads up. Oh, okay. That jump's not actually that difficult. She's pissed. Mmm... Her laser nipples were stolen. Oh no. Brand new laser nipples. They're so shiny. I hate this bit. I fuck up the jump sometimes. Come on! Don't need to shout. But um, I hate this jump. Because the rockets make me panic. Like nobody's business. Shit. And there isn't really any fucking plan I've got to beat it. Yep. Oh, I forgot to turn off Steam notifications. Like always, oh well. I, I keep effing up that jump. Maybe, maybe here a while. But I, oh, I can't believe that hit me. It wasn't even the rocket as well, which made it worse. It was the bloody... It was the fact that I accidentally walked a little bit too right, which is generally my main issue here. See, this would be super easy if it wasn't for the rockets that they force you to accidentally set upon yourself. I can't remember if I pause here or not. Apparently I do. Apparently I do now. Right, let's pause. Jump once, jump twice. Get over. No need to panic. Alright, so that wasn't as... I just made it more complicated than it should have been. A job. Mm, shouldn't have done that. Jojo's my friend. I wish I was a giant robot. 
I saw Dr. Swing steal them. <gasps> Dr. Swinger. He's escaping on a train. He's so evil. Can you catch him? Uh, yeah, the game kind of tells you its story through these small little dialogues. Get round. Make my life easier because you can jump on them multiple times. Can you catch him? Kick his ass. And up and over and here we go. I think I'm going to pause it at the train and I'll carry on because the train may kick my ass a little bit. We'll soon find out. 